Now, the um, priorities that the company has um, were basically threefold. Um, number one would be to uh, to explore 543 and bring that into compliance with uh, the natural national in instrument 43101, which is a very strict um, standard where you you have to have um, a, um, um, a resource of uh, with a very small um, um, what shall I say a small degree of error. Um, this ACI how non-compliant resource was four and a half million pounds of two point two seven percent. Actually, that's my resource. I did in nineteen seventy seven. Um, this was using its 0.7% cutoff. But there's uh, other um, undrilled anomalies and uh, prospects along a 20 mile, mile belt of occurrences, which is at the bottom of the Portage Lake series. Uh, there has been some uh, success finding deposits there. One of them is the G2 I mentioned. Um, and uh, that, that's been explored this last uh, summer. In the, year before as well. The other thing is the Nunsuch Shale, which is calcasite, the same mineral in shale, similar to the white pine and copper with deposits. And the third priority would be exploration throughout the, the, the Keweenaw pop, uh, Copper Province, uh, outside of the calcasite belt and outside of Nunsuch Shale. Now, this is a map that shows where our activities are actually occurring or have occurred. Uh, this zone right here in brown is where the major native copper deposits were um, produced. Also a couple of spots here and here. People ask me, uh, well, do you think there's any copper left? Do you think there are any new, play, uh, new deposits to be found? Well, I tell them, you know, every important copper mine was found on outcrop. And basically, there's 5% outcrop. So what are the chances? I think they're quite good. So like I say, these are native copper. Um, Caledonia down in here has, uh, still has a significant resource left in it. <coughs> 543 is up here, in this uh, block of uh, property that we've optioned from uh, BRP. And G2 is out by Beta Gree right here. Uh, we also have two projects. If you, if you follow this line down, this is the Nunsuch Shale. It comes down, and there's a big syncline here. Comes around and out in the lake, and then back in to a syncline here, and then that back on the shore. Um, White Pine Mine is right here. The Copperwood project is right there. And I must say that even though Copperwood is pu is permitted for 13 years, it's a much larger. So uh, if that gets in production, when it gets in production, it's going to last perhaps as long as white pine, 40, 50 years. <coughs> well, one of our projects is outside of the county map, it. right here. And the other one is down by the uh, Wisconsin border, right there. This so is so so that Nunsuch line is the crop of the Nunsuch? That's, a, that's a is it the same dip? As the other strata, basically? Yes, it's, it's, it uh, tends to be a flatter dip, but it dips out to the northwest. Um, and I must tell you that uh, from here to there, it carries copper the entire distance. The issue is whether it's an economic concentration. 